on the ground around here. We sure are. I'm not sure we're going to get that much tonight. A few thunderstorms could develop, but they should be fairly isolated. So yeah. the hundred that we had earlier today may be it. Yeah. Well, let's hope not. Uh, we have some activity out there right now, but most of it off to the west. See the flashing yellow box there? That is the severe thunderstorm watch that the Storm Prediction Center has issued uh, effective until 11 o'clock tonight. It includes basically the uh, southern half of our viewing area. Notice, though, let's uh, pan out to the west. That's where the strongest thunderstorms are right now, uh, forming here off the northern uh, mountains of uh, Mexico and then north of Del Rio. They are tracking to the east toward the watch box, and so we may get a few strong to severe thunderstorms here in our area, but I think as we lose daytime heating, the odds of that are going to decrease. Let's take a close look at our area right now on the radar and see what we have out there. This is just real patchy light rain down here south of the airport and over toward Bath. Strop County and Lee County, and those are real light. Little rain showers trying to form out here in the Hill Country, too. Doesn't look like they're doing much in the way of development right now, so I think any severe storm development is still a ways off if we see it at all this evening. But these are the counties under severe thunderstorm watch until 11 o'clock tonight, uh, including Gillespie County, Blanco County, uh, that is Hayes County, Travis County, including all of Austin, uh, Caldwell County, Bastrop, Lee, and this is Fayette County. Severe thunderstorm watch, our first one of the spring until 11 o'clock tonight. Many more likely to follow. Today, 70 degrees has been the high temperature, 68 at ABIA after lows this morning in the upper 60s. We're overcast, haven't seen much from our tower camera today except low clouds, had light fog and drizzle much of the morning, even into the afternoon and some patchy light rain showers. Again, we're at 70 currently. Put in a chance for a thunderstorm this evening, uh, 8, 10 o'clock hour as we fall into the upper 50s when the cold front slips into the area. And then after that, certainly after midnight tonight, rain chances will decrease significantly as the front slides on through. Looks like it's getting into the northern hill country now, down to 63 in San Saba, 61 in Lampasas. Everybody else a little closer to 70 or above in the uh, warmer air right now. In the city, it's 70 and it's 68 at the airport. And skies are cloudy. Winds are calm in town and a northeast wind at 6 miles per hour at ABIA. Well, the pollen count's still kind of ugly today. Mold high, oak high. Oak's a lot lower than it has been, though. A sycamore and willow medium. There was a little bit of mulberry, too. Well, you can certainly see on the weather map why we're having a threat of severe thunderstorms. In the spring, when you get a clash of warm, moist, and cool, dry air, uh, that's where thunderstorms tend to erupt. And there's your collision zone right there. 45 degrees in Abilene right now. 48 in Lubbock, ahead of the cold front. 70 here, 72 down in San Antonio, 80 in Corpus, 85 in Laredo. So the front now moving into the northern hill country, interacting with a weak upper level uh, impulse that is moving across Mexico into West Texas. That may help to enhance the thunderstorm development tonight right along the frontal boundary. And so even after dark, we could see one or two isolated severe thunderstorms. That's why the watch is in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. But not long after that, that front's uh, out of here. Uh, we see uh, improving weather, uh, though tomorrow probably still more clouds than sun and then more sun than clouds on Thursday as a warming trend gets underway as we head into the weekend. Uh, by morning, uh, you'll notice that the front's here. Uh, we should all fall into the 40s overnight, except some 50s in our eastern counties. And then tomorrow afternoon, highs only in the mid to upper 60s. I told you this week could be a little cooler uh, than it has been most of the